Welcome back trainers and in this video we're going to be taking a look at some more Go Battle League battles with the Swampert lead and like yesterday we're going to be using Venusaur, Talonflame and Ferrothorn uh, but on this video we're going to kind of swap it uh, instead of having Ferrothorn on the team most of the time we're going to have Venusaur and then towards the end we're going to swap it to Ferrothorn. Now let's bring Ferrothorn back this thing is amazing <laughs> with all these Talonflames you absolutely have to look out but wow if you do have something to cover that uh, water or rock or whatever the case may be you're going to be able to potentially pull this off this team was doing fairly well uh, so let's get right into it got the whisk cash here we're going to let our swamper go down so we can farm they're 100 going to have a counter to grass because of the weakness that whisk cast does have and they're going to be bringing in that talent flame we're going to go for that sludge swap into our own talent flame here holding on to two shields and they have zero so we're going to shield this up 100 it could have been a Brave Bird, we're not taking any chances here, so we're just going to straight go for our Brave Bird here. Missing a bubble, fantastic. And they have a Berserker in the back, so this is great. We're simply going to go for the Flame Charge and take the win here. Looking good. Let's get it. Now, if you do want to run this team, I like to swap them out. Venusaur Shadow with Ferrothorn because people don't necessarily have a Venusaur Frenzy Plant and Shadow at that. Many people have the Frenzy Plant Venusaur, but just simply not Shadow. So Ferrothorn would be a good substitute. I mean, there's also going to be other grass types that you could potentially swap for this team here, right? But I'm not going to recommend one or the other, Ferrothorn or Venusaur. They're both fantastic in their own ways, right? So the Pelipper is going to be taking us down here with some decent energy. We're going to go ahead and go in here with the Swampert. Let this go through. It is a Weather Ball doing a ton of damage, and that's the unfortunate part about this team is it is pretty squishy swamper um talon flame it is not the squishiest thing around but it is not the tankiest and then also venusaur the only thing that is going to be having some sort of weight in bulk is going to be the ferrothorn here so we're going to be going up against the galarian stunfisk this is fantastic we do have an energy built up so we're going to go ahead and go for that flame charge we're getting a shield out of them right away and i think i do shield this up myself and Pray that we can get to another one before they get to a rock slide here. If we do, it's GG. All right, beautiful. And we're going to be able to take this thing out here. In comes the Metacham. And this, I don't think this is going to KO, even if it's Psychic. Yeah, not quite there. And I don't know why I'm going for this. I think it's because we built it up already. I should have just went for the Brave Bird. So I'm just going to swap in here because I made a little mistake. Go for the Hydro Cannon on our Swampert that we had ready to go and take the win there. So yeah, go for the big moves. The shields are down if that's the winning move there. Anyways, into the next battle. We're met with a Scrafty. We ran into quite a few of these leads today. So we're just going to go ahead and stay in here and go for the Hydro Cannon. We are still going with the Venusaur. So, I mean, we could swap, but they're obviously going to counter us instantly. So they're going for a power punch. We're letting it go through. Both of us still have two shields here. Getting to another Hydro, more than likely going to get a shield out of them. And they're going to probably farm us down. Oh, we're going to swap. Okay. Not taking any chances here. Shielding this up. Foul play powered up. We don't want to get hit by that. One-to-one -one shields. I don't mind committing a shield there. They're coming in with Galarian Stunfisk. So there must be something back there that's really weak to Talonflame if they're coming in with a loaded up uh, Talonflame. So we're just going to go for another flame charge here. This is not going to kill, but that's fine. We're going to shield it up. Absolutely. And I do believe at this point they swap into Wigglytuff and back out. So good game. Let's go. We could have went into uh, our Venusaur there. We could have just simply stayed Talonflame and went for another flame charge. But Brave Bird would have been the play. So we're met with an Alolan Ninetales here with Charm. It is going to be chunking away and we're looking not too great because it is just ripping into our health here. But on the other hand, they're going to have to shield it up. They want to keep it protected, especially if they don't want to get hit by a Sludge Wave. Getting one shield out of them. We're going to go ahead and shield this up one time ourselves. Could have gotten off a Sludge or I mean a, um, a Hydro before they went for that. But uh, that's a little unfortunate there. Since they do have two shields used, I don't mind using one myself. They're going to be swapping into Deoxys. We're going to go straight for the Brave Bird here. Just because, yeah, we're not even hitting all the bubbles. One is just flow off there and it didn't even let me get it. Nice. So we're going to go ahead and swap into the Venusaur at this point. They're going for Psycho Boost. I figured I just made the good call there. So thank goodness we did. Don't even need to hit all these bubbles, obviously. Taking down the Deoxys. In comes the Ninetales here. The Charm's going to be resisted. We don't even need to hit the Sludge Bomb. We're just simply going to go for the Frenzy Plant. Take them out, and they're going to be bringing in that Shadow Swampert at the end and backing out. 
this team has the tendency to do that to traders. So let's go into the next one here. And we're met with a talent flame. Obviously, <laughs> this is so good. So we're just going to watch ourselves here. Uh, potentially going to hit us with a Brave Bird and then retreat. So whatever they throw at us, we're simply going to shield it up. There's no time to be messing around here because that's going to hurt us quite a bit. And with the lead, and they're going to swap, I would expect, into an Azumarill. We're going to go ahead and go for a Sludge Wave. If they want to use both shields here, great. We're going to swap right into Venusaur after this. Beautiful. Now, if you're thinking, eh, you could have just stayed and went Hydro and taken it out. Because they're just going to come in here with Talonflame and, you know, destroy you. True, but we're going to be able to do this. Alrighty, bring them down super low. And force them to throw because obviously a frenzy plant would have taken them out. So it worked out fantastic for me. Hitting that flame charge, we're going to go ahead and go in with talent flame because we're going to be able to take them out before they can do anything. All right, beautiful. And we don't even get to see the last Pokemon and we're taking the win again. <laughs> Let's go. All right, we have a rank 24 from the last season. Let's see what we can do here. We're met with a great lead and they're going to be swapping into Venusaur. We're going to go right into talent flame. So it's not Shadow. Don't really have to worry about it. Sludge Bomb is going to hurt, but they're going for Frenzy Plant to potentially get a shield out of us. But uh, having all this experience with the Shadow Venusaur going up against Talonflame, we don't... I mean, just common sense. You don't need to shield it. Uh, bringing in the Bastodon, obviously, they're just going to throw the rocks at us and then, you know, make us buried in the rubble. And, you know, doing some decent damage before we do go down. We do have two Pokemon here that are going to be able to handle the Bastodon, so this is actually a Breeze. Uh, but at the same time, if there's, for some reason, an Altaria, okay, it's a Metacham, beautiful. We have to look out for Ice Punch still. That is going to be doing some decent damage, but we're going to be able to spam them. This is going to hurt a lot. Look at this Frenzy Plant from the Shadow Venusaur. Do you see that? Let's go. Let's bring the Shadow Venusaur up. Let's bring the Feral Thorn up. Let's get it. Talon Flame. I don't need to say anything. Everybody's already using that, as well as the Swampert and Shadow as well. In comes the Bastodon, and I do believe I just shield this up for kicks and giggles. Just for the heck of it. Just because we want the Shadow Venusaur to take the win here. Just to show you the potential. Alright, Bastodon. We don't care if it's a Bastodon. Let's go. We don't care if it's an Alola Marowak. Still going to be doing stuff. Speaking of Alola Marowak, all of a sudden after Talonflame's Community Day, I have really not seen too many Alola Marowaks following the Community Day uh, as of a couple of days ago. Pretty awesome. So, let's go ahead and go for the Sludge Wave here. And we're getting a shield. That's fine. So we are going to shield this up. Try to get to another one. If we get two shields, great. If not, well, we're going to be doing a ton of damage. <laughs> so doesn't matter. Um, all right. Going to go ahead and do this. And they're letting it go through. We're going to mud shot down. We're in such a beautiful position. Uh, they're coming in with Skarmory. So, uh, you know, just got a big smile on my face. This is great. Got the talent fame to cover this after the... Skarmory does go down. We're able to get to another Hydro Cannon. This is just gold. All right, getting that through. No more shields on their end. We have to look out for a Brave Bird. Obviously, that's going to... I don't. It wouldn't KO, but bring us uncomfortably low. Going for that Brave Bird and retreating. Or act... No, they're not even retreating. They just go down. And we don't even see the last Pokemon again, folks. Oh, boy. Don't worry. Ferrothorn's going to get some action here in a bit. Met with a Jirachi. Okay. This is looking great. All right, it's going to end a little different than you think. So I'm thinking to myself, all right, we got the lead here. Let's get it. We're going to simply shield up the Dune's Desire because the Confusions are doing so much. But at this point, I'm thinking, are they trying to farm me down? Double shielding the Jirachi here. Going to go ahead and throw at this point. We will shield up. Getting off that Doom Desire. It's not very effective, but it's still going to be taking us out. Going for another Hydro Cannon here. And taking out the Jirachi. In comes an Umbreon, and unfortunately, it's able to farm us down. That was that was a, probably one of the biggest turns right there, that not being able to get out that Hydro Cannon. So bringing in the Frenzy Plant, Shadow Venusaur, to put in some work up against it. Doesn't care how much health or bulk it does have. We're still going to be ripping and tearing it. Going for the Flow, Foul Play using our last shield. And this is going to do some nice damage here. And we're swapping for some odd reason. To start build up, it building up, I suppose. They're bringing in a Azumarill. And we're going to be going for a Brave Bird here. We just severely lowered our defense. I mean, maybe we could have built up to a, a Flame Charge and then went for a uh, Brave Bird. But yeah, it, it, this was pretty much a loss anyways. I don't want to throw in the towel for a lot of these battles and say, <laughs> just give up. But, um, you know, Realistically, a lot of times you can see it clearly. You've lost the battle. So, good game. And we go down by Umbreon.
Alrighty, let's go ahead and move it on. Good game. Moving it on to our next opponent, we're going to be met with a Galvantula. So this is a decent matchup for us. They already know that. They're going to be getting some energy, swapping into Scrafty here. We're going to go ahead and throw this Hydro Cannon and then swap into the Talon Flame since we're going to be resisting the fighting damage, right? Obviously, they can go for foul play and they do that there. One more of those and we'll be uh, been taken out with the extra counter damage, of course. Going for the flame charge there. They're not shielding up because they do have one shield left. I do believe at this point we do want to shield this and then farm down. Really hope we can. Okay, beautiful. We're looking great. Please bring back that Galvantula. We're going to hit flame charge right away. We've already been boosted once. And I think they bring it in that swapped. Okay, yeah, very nice. They were trying to uh, switch us up and trick us up there. And they did because we were just hitting the charge move as whatever came in. And uh, going for the Venusaur Frenzy Plant. This is We're still in a great position here. I think we're still being able to pull this off, unfortunately, using our last shield. Now, what we need to remember is the fact that the Galvantula is like, what, one, one quick move away from its charge move, if not already there. So there's one, two, three. So now I think they're, they're at two charge moves here. But we're just going to simply go for the Sludge Bomb and take the win. <laughs> so if you're thinking, why would they charge over like that? Couldn't they have just went for a lunge? Well, we had Pokemon in the back with energy, and they knew that they needed more to win, right? So we're met with a Melmetal. All right, something new. Very nice. So we need to look out for Superpower still. It's not like we're invincible, uh, but we still are looking pretty good for this matchup here. Going to go ahead and let that one go through, expecting them to do that and then swap. And now we have Ferrothorn, folks. Let's go. Now, between the two, like I said, I'm not going to pick or choose either Venusaur or Ferrothorn. They are both fantastic. They both play specific roles. Venusaur cannot touch a Skarmory, while Ferrothorn can hit it with Thunder. All right, you see that? And also, uh, you know, going up against an Altaria, they both have their deterrence. If you want to have a Steel-type charge move on your Ferrothorn, that's going to help you out a little bit better. S sludge Bomb on the Venusaur to help you with that. So they both have different situations. Ferrothorn weak to fighting and then uh, Venusaur resisting it, okay? All right, back into the battle here. This Melmetal was farming up a bunch, so there is the first superpower, expecting another one here. What we're gonna do is simply shield up and farm down, or they're gonna swap into their Ninetales. We're gonna go ahead and go into Talonflame here, and this is a GG's for us. Well, for both of us, it's a GG's, but we're gonna be able to take the win here. And yeah, we're, we're getting uh, another back out there. And this team is proving to be fantastic, folks. On to the next one here. If you do enjoy these battles, please give it a give it a big thumbs up. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. It really does help me out. I bring news and battles every single day. Now we're going to be going up against... What do they swap into? Ah, Whiskash. Oh, all right. So we're going to go ahead and go into our Ferrothorn here and simply farm this thing down. And it's going to be able to chip away. Decent damage here. Mud Bomb is, you know, it's not exactly doing no damage. But nonetheless, we're looking fantastic. Simply going to farm this thing down here and load it with energy. Almost to two power webs. Power up is a very strong move. And we're going for it instantly here. And it is going to be the Scrafty. All right. We're just going to go for another one. We're letting this go through. It's going to be a power up punch. Definitely going to easily survive this, no problem. And with the Talon Flame in the back, we should be able to take care of business here, especially with two shields. And they have one. And Swamper is pretty much full health. I mean, looking good. Looking real healthy. Yeah, we're looking great here. So they're swapping. They have a Raichu. Okay, let's see what this thing's going to do. Now, the reason why I get off the Flame Charge is so I can swap into the Swampert here and farm down. And they go for a Wild Charge, which makes it even easier for me to farm down. Beautiful. Time to put on the pressure for this Scrafty here. Let's see if they want to even shield this up or just let it go. All right. Looks like they want to fight. That's what I like to see here, putting up that fighting spirit. So we're going to go ahead and shield up that foul play. Looks like they're trying to KO. Oh, all right. Well, that's that's okay. You know, they tried. It. They tried. Got another back out. So this team is doing this. All right. Into the next battle here. We met with an Obstagoon. This is okay. It's not the best. Um, we're going to have to use two shields if we want to come out on top. So going for the Hydro Cannon here, getting a shield right away from them. They don't want to get too low right off the bat. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Now, typically you don't want to shield the first Night Slash on an Obstagoon or something that's using Night Slash in general if you're taking neutral because uh, it could get the boost and start doing more damage and you want to shield up the stronger one, right? But for this here, 
that's fine. We're just going to go ahead and shield out that first one. Just wanted to put on the pressure, make them think I wanted to stay in the fight here. Come in here with the Talon Flame and start farming down and building up energy. See what they have in the back there. They don't like steel or rock potentially with that fighter in the front. So they're going to be coming in with an Azumarill. We're going to go ahead and swap into our Ferrothorn here. And typically I don't really, wouldn't really do this. Uh, Talon Flame up against an Azumarill is not the best. But let's see what they have in the back. And it's actually going to be a Pelipper. So we're going to get the shield. Now watch how good Thunder is. Power Whip's going to be fantastic. It'll do a lot of damage to it. About half or so, a little more than half. But Thunder, on the other hand, we got a Water and Flying over here. Let's go ahead and one-shot this. And then when the Azumarill comes in, let's go ahead and not one-shot. Let's go ahead and put in some work, guys. This is the power of Ferrothorn here. Let's go. I'm telling you, if you use it, you're not going to be disappointed. All right. Now, like I told you, you have to look out for Fire, especially Talonflame nowadays, because everybody's using them, and you will get destroyed. Anyways, thank you for watching, trainers. Give it a big thumbs up if you did enjoy it, and I'll be catching you all next time. Take care. Oh! <laughs>